do have my favorite moment. I feel like I always say this, so I wasn't sure if I should say it again because I feel like it's my, it's just the one that has always stuck with me because it's how I got into the collaborative. Um, and then I was thinking of another one that I met um, the National University person through our recent, or I guess the the data gathering that Danny did, the forums that they gathered, like the community data and they worked with SDBC, I forget the name of it, but um, through that uh, one. Life cycle, life cycle yes, report. Yes, that life cycle project. Um, so through that one, I got um, to meet a lady from the Veterans Center. She's the manager at the Veterans Center at National University. And um, we were able to connect later, a few months after that. And we had a great conversation at the forums or the projects, the life cycle project. Um, we met and continued to just keep in touch and we were able to collaborate and serve about 1,400 military um, families and children um, in collaboration as we did our food distribution. They helped us hold two or three and we're planning one for December too. So we just have built that relationship and we're able to continue um, to collaborate and serve uh, military families. So uh, I think that was a really great part of being a part of the collaborative and also um, my first experience with the collaborative when my um, uh, husband retired out of the military. Um, it was We had just moved to San Diego and I was looking for employment and I had gone through um, National Veteran Transition, the reboot program with my husband. And um, they then connected me with Easter Seals, which is now Bob Hope Veterans Center or support program. And um, they invited me to come to the annual summit as our my first like event here when I got back to San Diego to just network and see what's out there. And it was really eye-opening to me to attend and see so many resources that were there to support military families like mine. And it was just um, so, everyone was so friendly, so supportive, so open and just really willing to help. And it was um, a really exciting uh, event for me. And, uh, that's also where I was connected to Courage to Call. And that's how I got my um, initial position at Courage to Call. And it's been six years that I've been there. So, and it was through, um, yes, exactly. It was through um, all the partnerships and emails and connections prior to the Vet CTAP with uh, Janice Whitaker and John Funk and Maurice Wilson and Joe Burley and Barbara Padilla, you know, all of those organizations kind of working together brought me to the collaborative and then I was able to meet them and see them and all because of the prior work that they had done. So I thought that was a, it was a success for me, definitely, because I was able to get hired on at Courage to Call after that.